Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are diving into a hidden gem for anyone looking to revive an aging PC or simply wanting a no frills lightning fast operating system. If your computer can't upgrade to Windows 11 or you are curious about Linux alternatives then VatOS might just be your new best friend. In this video we are going to explore what VatOS is all about, how it works and why it's a great option to breathe new life into older hardware. Now what is a VAT OS? VAT OS is a lightweight Linux distribution specifically designed for low resource systems. Built on top of the Debian stable branch, more specifically Debian 12 bookworm. It takes advantages of a streamlined setup that emphasizes speed, efficiency and simplicity. Rather than overloading your system with unnecessary features, VATOS comes with only the essentials to keep your system running smoothly. The key here is its minimalist design. VATOS uses the LXDE desktop environment, which is re-owned for its low memory footprint and quick performance. The familiar layout with a start menu, panel, system tray and desktop icons helps make the transition easier for those of you coming from a Windows background. Now system requirements and hardware compatibility. One of the biggest selling points of VATOS is its incredibly modest system requirements. Memory, it can run as little as 192 MB of RAM. Processor, it supports virtually any Intel or AMD CPU no matter how old. Now about the storage, you only need about 700 MB of disk space to install the system. Even if you are dealing with an older machine, VATOS is designed to maximize performance and extend battery life. This makes it an excellent choice not just for desktop computers but also for laptops that might be struggling under modern operating systems. For instance, many reviewers have noted that even when VATOS is tested in virtual environments with abundant resources, the operating system itself feels as fast and responsive as a well-tuned machine. This lean approach means that every ounce of power is used to deliver performance. Rather than being wasted on a flashy animations or resource-heavy background services. Now about the installation process. Let's talk about installation. VATOS is designed with simplicity in mind right from the start. When you boot from the live USB, you are greeted with a clean, minimal environment. The system uses Calamarus as its installer, a user-friendly tool that lets you easily partition your drive, set up your time zone, choose your keyboard layout and create a user account. The installation process is quick, intuitive and doesn't overwhelm you with options. It's as straightforward as installing any other Linux distribution, which makes it a great choice even for newcomers who may be a bit intimidated by Linux for the first time. Once installed, you'll notice that the interface feels familiar yet refreshingly fast, with minimal bloat and a focus on what truly matters. VATOS lets you get to work almost immediately after installation. Now pre-installed applications and software management. VATOS comes with only a handful of pre-installed applications. Here is a quick rundown of what you can expect. Firefox ESR, a reliable web browser that strikes a good balance between performance and compatibility. Now transmission, a BitTorrent client, ideal for those who need to download large files efficiently. Text editors, whether you prefer Vim or Mousepad, VATOS has you covered. GDEB and Snaptic Package Manager, these tools simplify the process of installing new software. GDEB makes it easy to install .deb packages while Synaptic allows you to explore and manage the vast world of Debian repositories. The minimal approach means that if you need an office suite, multimedia player or additional utilities, you can add them on your own. 
This not only keeps the base system lean but also gives you complete control over what gets installed on your computer. For those who want to expand their software choices further, VatOS supports installing Flatpak or Snap packages via simple command line instruction. This flexibility means you are not locked into just what's provided out of the box. You can tailor your system exactly to your needs. Now, user interface and customization. Now, let's discuss the user interface. VatOS is all about keeping things straightforward. Instead of a complex control panel, you'll find a preference menu where you can adjust everything from network settings and desktop backgrounds to a panel behavior. Want to change the wallpaper or adjust how icons are displayed? Just right click on the desktop and select desktop preferences. Need to modify the panel? A right click on the panel opens up the panel preference letting you reposition, resize or even convert into a dock. While the interface might not boost the ultra modern aesthetics seen in some other distributions, its simplicity is a major asset. For many users, especially those transitioning from older versions of Windows, this familiar layout helps ease the learning curve. That said, there are a few quicks, for example, switching from a dark theme to a light one might not be always yield the most visually pleasing results. Some widgets stubbornly hold onto a dark background, which can clash with lighter settings. While this isn't a deal breaker, it's something to keep in mind if visual polish is a high priority for you. Now, performance and real world use cases. Performance is where VatOS really shines. Thanks to its lightweight design, it consumes minimal system resources. In one review, VatOS was reported to use only around 430 MB of memory with no applications open. A testament to its efficiency. This means that even on older hardware or in a resource constrained environment, VatOS runs like a charm. For those who are looking to extend the life of an aging Windows PC or Windows 10 PC that can't upgrade to Windows 11, VatOS provides a viable alternative. Whether you are using it on a desktop that's gathering dust or on a laptop that struggles with modern OS demands. VatOS can help breathe new life into a machine. It's also a fantastic option for virtual machines. Given its low resource requirements, VatOS can be deployed quickly in a VM environment, making it an ideal testing ground or even a lightweight workstation for everyday tasks like web browsing, document editing, and email. Now let's talk about the pros, cons, and the final thoughts. Before we wrap up, let's quickly sum up the pros and cons. First, the pros. Lightweight and fast. Designed to run on minimal hardware without sacrificing performance. Easy installation. The Calamarus installer makes setup straightforward. Customizable. Offers a familiar interface with intuitive settings for desktop and panel customization. Low resource usage. Perfect for extending the life of older PCs or for use in virtual machines. Now let's talk about the cons. Minimal out-of-the-box experience Lacks advanced multimedia tools or office applications until you add them Visual quirks Some theme issues, particularly when switching between dark and light modes Limited pre-installed software Not everyone might be happy with a bare-bone setup, but that's also part of its charm In conclusion VatOS is an excellent choice for anyone looking to revitalize older hardware or simply wanting a fast, efficient operating system without unnecessary bloat. Its emphasis on minimalism combined with the user-friendly interface and low system requirements makes it a standout option in the realm of lightweight Linux distributions. If you're ready to give your old computer a fresh lease on life, download VatOS R13 and see for yourself how this streamlined Linux distro can transform your experience. That's all for today's video. 
I hope you found this guide helpful and that you are now excited to try VatOS on your own device. If you enjoyed this video, please give it up a thumbs up, subscribe for more tech insights and leave a comment if you have any questions or experience to share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.